thanks. It's nice to be out of the house. Thanks. Uh, you know, I've been out of work before, and you can pick up some bad habits when you're out of work. I went for a walk the other day, and I noticed across the street there was this liquor store, and it wasn't even noon, and I never do this, but I went in and robbed the place. <laughs> You know, money's always been an issue. I remember about a week before my little boy was born, I went to buy a baby carriage. And the really nice baby carriages were five or six hundred dollars. So that's when we decided that we're going to have an indoor baby. <laughs> <laughs> we clipped his nails. <laughs> It's not always ideal being a parent. Last month, I had to take my little girl to a Hannah Montana concert. Because my wife didn't want to go with me, and I didn't want to go by myself again. It's, <laughs> it's not as much fun. Yeah. It's very different being a parent these days. Every kid is on medication these days. Both my kids are on Rogaine. <laughs> <laughs> they insisted. Yeah. I grew up in the suburbs in a neighborhood that was not very tough at all. Um, even our school bully was only passive aggressive. And, you know, he wouldn't take you to lunch, just go, you're going to eat all that? <laughs> My brother called me last night to complain that his teenage daughter dresses too sexy. Because she doesn't wear a bra, and she should, and her shirt never covers her belly, and half the time her butt crack is exposed. It made me realize that my dad dresses too sexy. <laughs> dad, you're a skank. <laughs> you never want to hear that. You have to be ready for anything when you're a parent. One time my son was three years old. We came back from the drugstore at the mall. He pulls a candy bar out of his pocket. Now, I didn't buy him a candy bar. I knew he didn't pay for it. So we jumped back in the car. We drive back to the mall. And this time, we went to a jewelry store. <laughs> you got to strike why the iron's hot. That's what I say. Kids will surprise you. The other day, my little boy talked back to my wife. She told him to do something. He said, no, I don't want to. I had to pull him aside and say, listen, you got to teach me how to do that. <laughs> and kids today grow up so much faster than we did. Two weeks ago, my little boy asked me what gay means. And it wouldn't have bothered me, but it was right after he saw me throw a baseball. <laughs> I've been having trouble sleeping, so I bought this tape of ocean waves to help me fall asleep. Just as I'm nodding off, I could hear, help. <laughs> and sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll stop breathing. And it's not sleep apnea. It's the other one where your wife's holding a pillow over your face. And... I don't know what you call that one. But times have changed. There's so much sex on TV now, especially when I'm home alone. <laughs> I can't get anything done. <laughs> My wife uses some quaint expressions, like she'll say, can of pop, when she means the urn that contains her father's ashes. <laughs> Very quaint. <laughs> My wife was a psychology major, so she's constantly psychoanalyzing me. When I wanted to fire the pool boy, she said, you feel threatened by young, virile males because you're getting older and you're coping with your own mortality. And my argument was, we don't have a pool. <laughs> what is Enrique doing here? <laughs> But I want to know. 
You tell them I'm married for a while. I went to the doctors last week. He said, have you had sex in the last seven days? I said, no, my birthday's in November. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks very much. You guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thanks.